uh, just post some more and then I'll try to do more paint over. So that was like almost 20 minutes. It take too long. Okay. Um, so you post two. I'm just gonna skip these and I'm just gonna <laughs> go to the environment, right? So I think that one is the same dude person. So here, the environment. Um, first of all, your composition is, uh, you, I'm pretty sure you didn't have a composition, and then your walkway, when it is closer to you, it should be bigger, and if it's, um, hey, what's up, Salty? If it's uh, farther away, it should get smaller. How's it going? All right. So I'm gonna simplify a lot of things. Like I'm not really sure what is going on in here. I mean, I do kind of know, but okay. This is way too bright on everything else. Um, so on the environment. Here you just have to you know sense a scale that should be smaller and as it come over it should get kind of bigger. So you can have sense of scale and then this I can see the light kind of get smaller as it go, but I'm not sure what this light actually for or means or um, what is the focal point of this composition. Um, and the, this is a house, it shouldn't be right in the middle, so uh, composition should be rule of third. So you gotta break it down to three parts. So, and then you can pick any of this point to be a focal point. Um, so maybe it need to be a little bit longer there. I would possibly have it laying up here, I guess, because that is a sky somewhere, so you probably need there. Um, hey, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I did. I forgot on Discord. Yeah, so in here, you gotta reset the composition um, and the value. Um, your value on the horizontal line should be the lightest and as it go upward it should be darker downward it should be lighter it doesn't matter if it has a daylight because according to the perspective rule it is your horizontal uh, I mean the, the vanishing point horizontal line and if you come forward things get darker and same as the top because the furthest part is your horizontal line that's will be the furthest part that will get closer because if you draw a vertical line right that will touch each other from the bottom to the top so it's kind of like the building or sort of thing so that will be darker and this will be darker doesn't mean that they have to be the same value but in general they'll get darker so I'll show you what I mean all right now this is green, 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 green should be red, red. Um, we probably don't want to set everything to be too green. We can do sort of a, what do you call that? I forgot, kind of like a family a color scheme from um, blue to green. Um, so I'm going to play with this a bit. Actually, I'm going to add some darker value on top, move it to blue, bluer. Let me use multiply perhaps. Um, boom. Uh, I think you're. Damn, this is uh, way too big to be this pretty. Uh, 1500 should be enough. When you start off, uh, you should uh, usually I start off smaller until you know I will. Once I have the calm, this look more like a calm to me. 
so you don't need to make it that, um, that big yet. You can make it kind of blue in here. But it's so dark. <laughs> Let's do it again. There we go. Blah, bluer. Lighter. I kind of want it to be slightly lighter. Okay, that's good. That's the color I want, basically. And I'm gonna put it down a bit. And as you can see, uh, as it goes up, it's get a bit darker. As it goes horizontal, it's get a bit lighter. So I'm gonna merge it down so that I can paint over it. Now, I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna paint the background first. So this should be some sort of a maybe jungle or something. Some kind of woods, trees, right? Tool value set there is fine. There's some fruit fly here. Every time I buy organic fruit, there's always a fruit fly in there. Should buy some fruit with pesticides next time. Just kidding. Um, this didn't ever happen to fruit fly. Um, yeah, and they are like everywhere. It's crazy. So there, right? So you just have two values. Same as here. You don't need that many. Uh, you don't do too much of the dabbling, right? Try to decide what shape you want your piece of foliage. Don't think of it as leaf. Because you won't be able to see the leaf without. Uh, you gotta establish the big shape first. Right here, three. You already have nice color, but you just don't have. Um, you just not bold enough to create the shape. So you see that shape there, and you see what I'm talking about later. All these shapes are really important. There, in sky. Hello. Now it looks like a nice guy. There should be some bird or something flying. Uh, let's add some. Maybe a bit more. And what kind of tree are that high? This is like way further out, so you shouldn't have any tree that high because that is really high. You have. So we're gonna get rid of that. <laughs> the sense of a. Uh, it's kind of destroying the sense of depth. Um, yeah. Hey, Salty, uh, we'll see. We will add something in the foreground. But right now, I'm just trying to take care of this. Um, but, yeah, possibly. And this value is like 26. Way too dark. If you have 26, 24 here, that should not be 26 or something. So that's going to be lighter. I'm going to turn this down. That out. It should be. It, can, it has to be darker than that one, but it shouldn't be as dark as the one around here. This is what 55, 56, 81. Okay, now uh, I have the background. I'm gonna do mid ground. <coughs> so here, I'm gonna do really quick here. Funny sky. Let's get rid of that for now. A little bit darker. So what's going on today, Salty? What are you doing? Are you painting something or playing video game or what? <coughs> there we go. Actually, still the background, so okay, let's move up the background um, and clean this up. <coughs> uh, 
All these similar value here. I can pick the lighter value and separate the trunk, tree trunk. Not every single tree trunk, but open up some space inside that so you know that there are some light coming through, right? Bam, 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 bam. bam. And a little bit of shrubs on the bottom part, perhaps. You gotta be light though. And bring some grass in have some dirt. Uh, I'm going to make that brown. Slightly light brown. There we go. Some dirt mixed with the blue so it's you know, and some light there. And as it come up it's going to be a bit darker. Yeah, what are you going to school for? What major is something? How was a are you the one that get the tablet? How's the tablet? Do you, do you still use them? There we go. Alright, so uh, now I'm going to use the mid ground now. See, it's this. I think I'll. This is one problem of like when you, when you guys are trying to or relying too much on the texture brush because you're focusing on the, using the texture brush instead of relying on painting. So um, this is why you have to paint with just default brush and try to get all the shape down first. Then you know you can start using. Not not that the texture brush is not cool. I mean it is. Um, you just you don't have to use them all the time, and then try to paint with default brush and get the shape right. Because when you start using texture brush right off the bat, um, and, and try everything with the texture brush, it's just gonna um, kind of take away from the uh, foundation you're gonna not see the big picture instead you're focusing on a small detail so now I'm gonna go up here in the mid ground here so I'm gonna have some green stuff here so as it come more forward it's gonna be darker it's not gonna be as dark as that I'm gonna lighten this up and I don't know what these areas are maybe I'm just gonna flatten it because this I don't know what area this is. Like either is it the woods? Is it the grassland? Is it the you know? Um, so I, I would assume that is maybe some sort of a forest instead of a jungle. So the forest would be a little more open, I guess. So now I'm gonna use a darker, a little bit darker value and try to establish some foliage here. Could be higher, but it's not going to be as high as that because that's kind of went way off the grid of perspective. So if the tree is this high over here, it's really high already. So as it go in, that tree is going to be about that high. So if the tree is higher, maybe a little bit higher, it will look high. If you have it that high, that's like shooting the sky. So you don't want that. Um, so all right, let's turn it back on. Maybe you want it to be tall, you can have it this tall. And then you 
waste things to kind of oh it I just <laughs> I turned it off and I painted. What the hell? Sometime I'm done. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a foliage here. Set a bit and more foliage. And try to establish everything with default brush until then, uh, when then you get to know the texture brush and uh, focus on the shape rather than um, trying to you know paint or mimic the leaf and all that stuff. Yeah, you want to come over here, make it a bit darker. Some foliage, the lower part of it. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to play with that one. Uh, so I'm just going to have three here. don't know where that part is, but I'm going to get rid of transition from there to the mid ground and I'm going to slightly make it darker and now we're going to have a bit of dirt trail more saturated so I'm just going to make this one really simple so that you probably get the point of how to give depth of field to this distance it's like this one big problem is uh, composition, depth of field, and value. Uh, what are you going to your university for something? Uh, what major? And King's like super quiet today. Are you playing video games or are you drawing? So you see like a trail kind of that. And I don't have to use texture brush to get the sort of uneven dirt texture. You just use default. And this is basically default because it's, it's uh, if you look at the shape, if you never seen my brush before, it's like that, right? What I did was here, and I squeeze it. So that basically, so I can get into the smaller edge. So it's default. <laughs> Sometimes people thought us, oh, that's a fancy brush. So it's kind of mimic uh, the palette knife from oil, basically. There. See what I mean? So now you got a little bit more of a shape that you can play with. Um, now uh, we're going to add a little bit darker value, more saturated. And you can make shadow here. Well, now that I bring that one way too close. You can do it two ways. If you want it further away, you can get rid of that. Then you can go lighter instead. So now that push that one further. Right? You just play with value and when you play with those values, you can either pull it in or push it away. Two things. And see I don't have to use any brush or leaf brush. Just default and just squiggle. All you need is just nice, <clears throat> try to get the shape to look nice, and then you'll be fine. But, like I said, texture brush can come in to and help really well, not in the further way. The further way you want to create shape, as it comes closer, uh, you can see a little bit more detail, you get more texture. So, at the point of passing the mid ground, then you can sort of start using, thinking about start using texture brush with the exception of some um, uh, let's just say some like if the mountain is far away you don't want to put the texture on the mountain either but with exception of, of some like there's the cloud you could use texture brush uh, but not too much you should have just kind of painted a little darker here um, like in here if I want to add texture I could I would just like go all down on this and I could like, oh, I'm too shame. Just kidding. Totally kidding. Um, 
let's just fuck, do bats. I don't know. No bats. Uh, Draw me asleep at the keyboard. <laughs> Uh, let's just do that one, right? And you just pick that, and just see just something that look like a leaf that come off because it's really tiny, small. You don't want it to, but if you like add a leaf, uh, some sort of a leaf in there, it would look out of place because it look way too big. You have to make it really small so it doesn't look like a leaf. the leaf would be appropriate. You put it here because it's big enough, it's closer. But over there, you just want some noise. Uh, but I'm not going to put it there yet. Uh, maybe I'll put a different one. Uh, yeah. Is this just going to be an environment? What? Is this just going to be an environment? Uh, it's, it's a paint over. Mm -hmm. oh. So it's, you know, these are my Patreon that come and they post a picture on Patreon uh, because they support this channel. And then I'll, once in a while, like once a month, I'll pick. Uh, one of the pictures they post them and I'll paint over so they know what the hell they're doing. Um, and usually get people better because most of the class I just paint over the crap out of like the assignment and stuff. But with the class, uh, it's it very specific. So they'll have to go watch a certain video and they get like a, like there'll be character design or something. So they'll get assignment and exercise that they're supposed to do for my class, and they will have to paint. Uh, each week you have to turn in specific um, uh, subject or assignment like silhouette or design or you know studies or something and, and it will progress uh, in the way that it by the end of the course which is like eight week they should have like a complete character that looks good already okay. yeah so it's kind of like strengthen your skill or like you know sometimes a lot of people most of them I know is that they if they put it good at putting value or they can render well um, they probably lack in some sort of uh, what do you call it? Uh, material <laughs> shit I'm like all day today painting um, kind of not thinking straight because I just got out of class also teaching um, its character 102 but um, yeah so here so now when you add a texture here it has a little more impact rather than adding there but I don't think it kind of fit that well still it's still too, a little bit too tiny um, and then I'm gonna move in here all right I'm just gonna make it real really quick because this is like what 20 minutes already damn it <laughs> I like to paint fast I don't want to paint too long okay okay here because I want to move on to another one. Um, there you go. Ah, uh, this is too straight. So instead of making that too, it just kind of uh, straight. It looks. Uh, I make it look kind of dumb. So, gonna make it veer. Gonna push this to the side a bit. And put the grass through there. So it has some sort of a path that it goes. It's better if it's like swirling. And you can add some shrubs along the way. And then that would come in here a bit. See, it look a little more interesting when you change the direction instead of having it just coming forward. And it's kind of boring there. And you can even have like some kind of telephone pole. No, not really. Um, some wood sticking out, like some sort of a fence or something. Let's uh, put shadow or something like that also. Just a little tiny bit of stuff. Maybe you can put some goats in there. 
already did some shadow of light on the straps. All right. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, King fall asleep on the keyboard. Okay. So now it is the mid section here. I'm gonna put a little bit more tree on this side, which is gonna be closer than that one on this here. So I'm gonna push it darker here and more saturated. So a little higher. found environment to be sort of relaxing. I mean, environment and, and character has its own advantage, like on environment you can go a lot more free, like in terms of shape and form, but on character you're kind of restricted to uh, shape and form and anatomy and all that. Especially if you do female, it's just not a lot of room to play with it. You do creature, there's more room to be creative. But if you do environment, the only thing that you're restricted to is just value and the depth of field. Other than that, that's, you can do pretty much everything. Oops, I don't want to close that up. Here, alright, I'm going to go to the back a little bit. Push that around a little. Maybe open it up a bit wider. Okay, I'm a bit more there. Okay, so I'm coming to the mid ground, adding this a little bit more. Yeah, I noticed that on like Twitch, people usually like, come and go really quick. I think because like, are they here to watch painting or did they play, play video game? I don't think Amazon like know what the fuck they're doing. It's just like, oh, we're just gonna start being creative. And why don't you just come paint over here? It's funny. All right. So fuck. Um, I'm gonna add darker value here. There. So we have. Okay. So the light coming from. Oh shit. What? Why is it? No pain over. That's weird. Did you have selection on? Oh, I did have selection on. But that should be behind some kind of this thing. Oh, let's turn off the section. Oh, so the light comes over here. So I was, I don't know, maybe drunk today, I don't know. I forgot. But, alright, let's add some shadow here. Basically. And maybe instead of two value, now you become closer, you can add a little more value. So we can have three. Yeah, but I'm gonna start with two and then I'm gonna add another transition with layer. So this one you can push it a little further away, make it slightly lighter, then it will come further away. So I hope these are helpful guys. Most of the time I'm just bullshitting. Bullshitting is fun. Feel free to ask any question if you are watching. Unless you're just a robot and you're falling asleep. Alright. So here, this little tree. There's a stupid looking tree. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna um, lock this thing in, I guess. Uh, now I can use a little bit more of the texture brush. Because it's closer, so we can play with it more, right? Pap, pap. But you have to know what direction the light 
actually is, so we can kind of play with light and shadow a bit. Yeah. yeah that's a bit too much there. More charm edge. And you go in and erase some of it to make it the edge a little more interesting. You should like to use eraser a lot. It's a time saver. Hey! <laughs> What's going on, my unknown design? Good to see you again, bro. You don't have the title, I was just joking. I always talk shit to people when they come around. But good to see you, man. There's not much going on today. Just painting. And then now you can see a little bit of kind of like uh, mimicking the leaf a little on the edge of, usually it's on the edge of the two value, right? So I can add a little minor stuff here. Bam. And now I make a transition by these values, like the value in between those two. There. And then add a little bit over here. So now as you can see, these are just two values solid in the back. This is a little two or three more transition. Over here, you had more because it's closer now. So, and I could even add occlusion shadow inside once I put like some sort of a tree trunk or some uh, stupid stuff in there. Um, all right, now I'm just gonna clean up this tree trunk a little bit because that value doesn't belong in there. There. Maybe add some brown color or something. Shit there. Okay. Shit, it's almost half an hour. It's slow. Alright. Uh, okay. So now I'm cleaning up the background here. Uh, if you want a hill, um, I could add some hill. Let's do the hill in the foreground. This is about 46. I could move up to higher. I mean lower, I mean, yeah, lower in the light scale, but in the dark scale is darker. Some sort of a hill. Light should be coming over here. And slightly darker, more saturated here. Put that a little bit of, let's do a different brush here. And how about that one? That's it's not fit at all. Let's try another one. I like to try a different look brush now and then. Nope, that doesn't fit. Go back to my usual. Sometimes it doesn't fit, and you're gonna have to change it. But mostly I'll go default. By default. And then roll that value over. Make transition. This will be higher here. And go lower. So this is just gonna be a pretty simple stuff. So it would um, make you understand it a little bit more from just there. You know, to sort of more of a plane. And <clears throat> if you're trying to do landscape, you well, unless you're doing like a, a, a high clip or something, you can do a vertical. But if you do just regular landscape, I would recommend doing horizontal. Uh, probably be more, you have more room to add more stuff on it. But it depends on your composition, like what is the context of your uh, concept, right? So, <clears throat> and here you could have like maybe some light, spotty light coming in, but wait, let's do that later. Too soon. Uh, yeah. And then dirt. Some grass, spotty grass here. And we have some walkway and some walk grass over here. Nothing fancy here. Like try to start with like simple stuff in your uh, new environment and then slowly move from there to a little more complex and different lighting. But of course you can start out with a simple and just try to most importantly is control your value and 
control your depth of field. Uh, make sure that your value is correct according to the distance of the object or something. Right, so come closer, get darker. You can still add uh, fancy lighting in the foreground if you want to, but this is just like a setup. Uh, but once you get more comfortable, you can like play with it a lot more. This is just like the basic. Right. Uh, again, you can use a little bit of texture brush. I'm feeling fancy. All right, and now we can add a little more lighting in here. There. Okay, now I'm going to add some tree trunk. A bit red, brown, lined up it. Maybe a bit darker there. Uh, slightly darker, more saturated. Okay, that's about right. I'm gonna make the shape a bit more interesting. So, and it also doesn't matter like what style you want a little bit more realistic, you can still have to control the value, except on the realistic one, it's just going to look slightly a bit more monochromatic, and a lot of colors going to be more muted. But when you play with, um, if you want a more colorful stuff, it's hardly it's going to look more realistic, it's going to look a little more stylized if you want to play with color. Depends on what you're looking for. And tree, uh, when you're doing tree, don't just put a stump on there. <coughs> Try to make curve and you know, make it a little more interesting. Like real tree. You have personality. Try to talk to it or something. And the branch that go up. Right, and more branches that go up there. A little bit here, a little bit there. Some of you don't always see. <clears throat> All right, now I'm gonna make selection here. I'm losing my voice here, damn it. And make a new layer. Putting some sort of texture brush. <clears throat> Sorry guys. And then add some kind of texture there. And you have to know where the shadow are where the, sh uh, the, side of the, sh the, the shadow size is on the right side of the screen, so I'm putting it there and then I'm trying to find a lighter value. And then I'm going to add one more texture. Right, so. And a bit tight, darker stuff here, and some darker stuff on top. Maybe the roots. What? Hundred percent here. And you can add some shrub in the front. A bit darker, so maybe a different kind of hue. More shrubs here. And yeah, some light middle. And at this, this point on, you're just kind of setting it up. And once you set it up here, you can let's pick the foliage. You can add a bit of texture there also. Make it a little bit darker. Now you can go to the leaf 
what do we leave? You're gonna pick, let's do that. Click here, maybe go 80%, uh, deselect. And when you add leaves, just add in between the the dark and the light so that it will show up right. Do light right on the edge. So now that's the how you use texture brush or one way to use it. You know, don't just rely on the texture brush. Use them on the place that it will shine the most. Then you can pick lighter value. You want some highlight. Uh, oops, the brush is pretty small. I'm going to use the default or a different texture brush basically. Let's do this one. There's some highlight here. So make it popular a bit more. But don't do too much, just a few spots. So, and that's uh, pretty much it, guys. So from there to here, and it's just very simple. You know, you don't need too much. If you want to add some other uh, same thing here, if you want to add like some brush, just kind of do the same thing there. And you don't want to, and try to make it so that come from distance to here, like and. Even if, if I put the fence that way, I can put the fence on here also to show the sensor scale. Right. So with this side, it's like a lot bigger. And connect the fence. Some sort of thing. Yeah, just the basic, and then you might have a little bit of cash Because the light coming from this side. So, anyways, and uh, you put like some character in here. You want to stand out, you put red. Yeah. Mix, uh, usually like 50% red and mix it in with the green, so it looks a little bit more green. And then we have skin color. some sort of like stick. Every time you see environmental concept, a guy always carry a stick. Because he had to protect himself from a tiger or a big cat or something. Now I'm going to add a little bit of shadow. And I noticed that you have a lot of like light there. I'm not sure if you really need them. Probably not. But if you want to add those light, you can uh, decorate the light here. I don't know what those are, but I assume those might be like some sort of a neon light, or I don't know. So that what I would do, add it there. And maybe you want to make it glow, you can... I don't know, it has some dodge, that's not work. Dodge, that's a little bit more of a 